Hey, what's up everybody? Bradley already here. Wanted to talk about Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Give you guys my impressions on this video game. Man, I still can't believe that they actually put this game out. And just so you know, I know it's been delayed on the Nintendo Switch. I'm certain that when it does get released, it will be great. But for now, I wanted to discuss this game and how it runs currently on the PlayStation 5. Oh, and in case you're wondering why there's no game sounds going on in the background, it's not because the game has any problems. Actually, the game audio is fantastic. It's it's fine there's no problems there it's because i accidentally set my record settings up to my microphone and it recorded me my baby crying the I, the fridge the fridge makes a lot of noises oh and the dishwasher going that was a fun one so yeah forgive me but there's not going to be any uh game audio because of that sorry okay back to the main discussion and I guess the big question is whether or not this game, which by the way, came out during the PlayStation 2 and GameCube era, is worth that $30 asking price. And I guess that answer is, well, it just depends. Are you interested in this game? And did you play it when it was originally released? If the answer is yes to either of those, the answer is yes, 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 baby, because this game is still awesome and it runs and plays exactly like I remember with some minor tweaks and upgrades to the original. For starters, visually, it definitely can play at 4K. It's been upscaled to 4K and the game itself looks nice. This here on the screen is 1080p. I cannot get the gameplay recorded on my PlayStation 5 to record in 4K. I think that's actually just something that it does, doesn't do. But just know that when I play the game, it is in 4K and it also runs a buttery smooth. It seems to run at a stable 60 frames per second and I love it. I also want to mention that they definitely have done some other improvements such as improve the loading times. Whenever you see that loading screen with the flames and stuff, I remember taking that a good 10 to 15 seconds or whatever it was when I was growing up, but now it doesn't even give it time. The loading screen doesn't even actually show the entire word before it loads the game in. It is a lot faster, it's almost seamless, and I love it. I've also noticed that they are still currently updating the game. Since I've been playing it, there have been two updates that I've noticed. I don't know what those updates are for. I can only assume they're there to maybe even more improve the visuals maybe, or fix some bugs and glitches. I did encounter one bug and glitch where my sound audio cut off in the middle of a fight and then I could no longer hear the clashing of weapons or enemy sounds. If an enemy died, there was no sound. I had to stop the game, restart it, reload it. It wasn't a big deal. It went away after I did that. So maybe they're fixing little minor bugs and glitches like that. But it's still cool that they're continuing to update this game. And it is greatly appreciated because it is still $30. Now for those that were hoping that this game would have online co-op, I do not see online co-op at all. I don't know if they're planning on bringing it at later on. It would be really cool if they did. This game didn't originally release with online co-op. It was just local multiplayer only for two people. And that seems to be the case here. So if you were hoping that this game has an online feature of sorts, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but it doesn't appear like that is the case. But what I really, really love about this port is just, uh, it's, can I just geek out? It, it reminds me so much of my childhood. <laughs> Not in my childhood. I was a teenager when I first played this, but oh man, it's so cool. <laughs> I just, they're all back. The lip sync's pretty dang good too. There's a lot of things about this game that have actually aged really well the leveling system, I really like the combat and the weapons. It is a little bit old, some of the combat features, but all the same, man, this game is awesome. It's great, I love it. I felt like, honestly, I felt like I was still 
like I've played this just the other day. I remembered all my little tricks that I used to do to help me win, like blocking into the door frame so that no enemies could surround me so I wouldn't get just crushed by multitudes of enemies. Or like when you're in the crypt and you jump on the tombstones or the graves so that you can easily attack the enemy so once again they can't hit you. I mean, just playing this brings back all of these fun, fun memories I've had from when I first played this game. And it is so wonderful to just re-experience it. And of course I had to be the archer. You always have to be the archer when you start out. And whenever you start out the game, you always have to be naked. You don't need to wear clothes. The clothes that you start out with don't provide you any armor boost. So why not just go mow through enemies originally as a naked guy? It's somehow a lot more satisfying just being in your underwear. Yeah, I know, I'm weird, but that's always how I've played it. And, of course, my boy Vaughn still says, I can't do that here, which just puts the dumbest smile on my face. I don't know why that makes me so happy walking around town and then just saying, I can't do that here. As if, can you imagine, just, can you imagine if you're just, some naked guy is walking around town, walks up to you and goes, I can't do that here. <laughs> Sorry, I know I'm completely off topic here on but I don't care. I don't care. It's just, it's just bringing back a lot of memories, and it, it's a good thing. It's a really good thing. If you played this game, in other words, way, way long ago like I did, and you're interested in playing it again, and you wanted to know whether or not it's exactly like you remember, the answer is yes. Like I said, it just has these minor tweaks. It has better visuals. It seems to have better performance, much better load times. It's better all around. Now, how this is going to play on the Nintendo Switch? I couldn't tell you because like I said, I played this on the PlayStation. I will be picking it up for the Nintendo Switch. Hopefully though, I will get a physical release and be able to get it that way. Fingers crossed that I can because I love this game. And so far from, I'm almost about done with Act 1. And from what I can tell so far, everything is great. I haven't encountered any other bugs and glitches except that one I mentioned and for all I know they could have fixed it and it was a very minor bug so I don't even care. Everything else though it seems to be playing just like I remember and that is a wonderful wonderful thing. Alright guys, that's it for me, but I just want to say that if you have any questions that you would like to know about this game, please, by all means, feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Sorry, I'm sometimes bad about it, but I just know that I'm enjoying this immensely. I think this game so far is so good, guys. It is a ton of fun. I'm just at the end, like I said, of Act 1, and I'm hoping to be able to finish this whole thing in a week or two, but... That's it for me. Thank you once again for watching. I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and praise be the Yevon. I will see you next time.